Pastured bird? Pasturage. No hormones, no steroids. Because I prefer not to get secondhand steroids. Oh! Bye -bye, Come on! Come on, Chris! Come on, come on! And still, four times. Come on, let's go! Finish off! Bumpster! Today, chest day, Sunday, Courtney left town for Easter yesterday. We're traveling so much, I decided to stay back and just sleep, recover, and every now and then I just need some alone time to decompress. So I'm taking some time I need for myself. So home alone this weekend, chilling, grinding, going to bed early, and trying to get huge. So training chest today, and pretty much all that's going on. Rocking the Young LA Fit that's dropping, probably, maybe before or after this video comes out, probably before, so you might miss it anyways. But chest day, I'm gonna try and press some heavy dumbbells, warming up with, whatever the fuck this is called, tech deck. Still can't see straight, because I'm lightheaded right now. But get my chest warm, and then we're gonna try and move some heavy weights today, so stay tuned. That's it for pec deck, do three working sets. Drop the last one because I was getting fatigued. Not trying to kill myself, so no supersets or drop sets or anything when I start my workout because I want to focus all my power to push some dumbbells over there. So I'm gonna go over there. Most I've done this off season, 140. So gotta get to 150. And then hopefully this year, I can request to buy some dumbbells over 150 and try and get stronger than I was last year because we didn't even have that opportunity. So see if I can convince Dom to buy some big old dumbbells later, so. shit sleep because my allergies are getting bad again they just go up and down and it really makes you realize how fucking important sleep is because I feel so weak fatigued I woke up with a headache I was up all night fucking blowing my nose I just feel like out of it prioritizing sleep is like the biggest obvious unused secret for getting gay so sleep more always
All right, so I just did two sets of the incline dumbbell because it was heavy. I'm trying not to over fatigue myself right now. I'm focusing on getting some heavy compound movement at the beginning to build my strength and then move on to a machine like such. And this is like one of my favorite machines, the flux leverage old pieces, because they actually converge a little bit. And obviously part of the function of the chest is to bring the elbows across the body. So if you're pressing out here, it still hits your pecs, but it's a different and deeper type of contraction when you actually come across and converge. So these old school machines are the best for that. And yeah, doing this three sets and then we'll make it up from there. So I can't really do any decline, decline presses because my shoulders still fucked my labor my tour forever ago. Never probably going to be 100% so I can't press down here. If I go into a neutral grip and a bit of a fly on the cables here, I'm doing really close elbows to the body and pushing down under. I'm still getting like pec minor squeeze as if I'm doing a decline but no stress on my labrum. So these have been like a new go-to I've done the last like four or five chest days. And I've been enjoying them so give it a try if you have a fucked up shoulder and can't do decline. I'm rocking a tank top all year. I think. You know, like came out with these wife lovers, they called them. All I used to wear back in college, but I didn't know what gym gear was. It was like pants, shorts from Walmart, and wife beaters. So bring back the nostalgia. Kind of like it. wearing a shirt this tight. I need to keep my gut in at all times. Look like I have a barrel hanging out. Can't have that. <sighs> Movement of the day. Did like three flies over there, kind of like a close press fly, and these are more of like a wide fly. And as soon as I get fit close to fatigue, not full failure in the fly, I'm bringing it in and I'm doing a bit of a press where you're a little bit stronger, and I can bang in a few more reps. So it's kind of like a variation of a superset, but not. Wrap it up here, it's like four sets, and call it a day.
Bella shape. Gonna be it for chest day. Honestly, decent little chest pump. We have a new RTD pump, and it's got liquid glycerol on it, which is amazing. A bunch of beta alanine, a shit ton of citrulline, arginine, all that good shit. I took it with no caffeine today, and it actually gave me a nice little pump. So can't complain. As I told you guys, Corny's out of town right now, so I'm left to fend for my own. I literally have paper plates that I throw in the garbage so I don't have to do dishes. Probably won't do laundry until she's back. I ordered a shit ton of Mega Fit. And I'm probably gonna go to the grocery store and get like pre-cooked chicken or more fucking snacks or something because I'm hopeless as ever. Just kidding. I've become very codependent on her cooking skills and her providing, so grateful for that. But when she's gone, I gotta make do with what I got. So I stop by Sprouts after this, get some food. But the wrap on today's chest day, off season is beginning. Still haven't even upped my supplements at all this year. And I've like forgotten that I haven't done that, so I'm like training hard and eating properly and growing and getting stronger without them. So it's kind of nice, honestly. This will be like what Natty Chris looks like when he's like retired from bodybuilding. So the future is bright, but I gotta get some food. So catch you guys later. All right, so post-workout meal, we are going to Sprouts. It's Easter Sunday right now, and we are so lonely. No family, no Easter dinner. My parents used to always make a beautiful like turkey, like Thanksgiving style dinner on Easter. And now I don't get to do that anymore because I love Flora, so it kind of sucks. But I'm gonna go and replace the Easter dinner, beautiful pie and gravy and stuffing and mashed potatoes and baked turkey. And I'm probably gonna get some chicken nuggets because I love chicken nuggets, so yeah. I hope they're open though, because it's Easter Sunday. Google said they're open, but we don't know if they're open, so we'll find out soon. Stay tuned, I'll leave you guys on a huge cliffhanger. First time going to the grocery store. That's the last time Courtney was out of town. Sad existence, tough life, but someone's gotta do it, you know? Weathering the storm, it's a joke. I've actually been in the grocery store. Sometimes she sends me here, but I usually get the wrong shit and she has to correct it anyway, so it is what it is. Is that Javi? Yeah. Javi Fitness is following us to the gym. Stalker, the Shelby GT500. Drinks are fucking fire. Olipops? You haven't had one? Yeah. Try them. You want one? No. I'm gonna take a Mountain Valley. What? I'm gonna get a Mountain Valley. Mountain Valley? Boring. Still eat bison? Sorry? Still eat bison? Yeah. I was getting the bison patties. You're not allowed to eat red meat anymore, eh? I'll get some just to rub it in your face. Kelvin's red blood cell count too high, so he's not allowed to have red meat anymore. When I tell you it's all he ate, it is all he ever ate. So, sad time. Me, I yeah, Hani's coaching Calvin now. He's gonna be going into the 2024 Olympia and replacing me. I just bought like four pounds of venison too, which sucks. This is the yeah. best brand. Yeah, but they used to have patties. You get the ancestral blend? Yeah, always. It's got heart and liver. You know how good that is for you? It's the only way I can eat heart and liver, because heart and liver on its own is fucking awesome. It's gross. Pastured bird? Pasturades. No hormones, no steroids. Because I prefer not to get secondhand steroids. Only first hand. No, you have to do the mango. Mango? Mango spears are the best. Pineapple and chicken and rice is almost as good as pineapple on pizza. It's delicious. Aloe vera juice from my smoothies. Great for your gut. Very healthy. Rice cakes? Rice cakes? You're the rice cake king. Rice cake. What did you used to put on it? Uh, oh, avocado chicken? No. No? On my rice cakes? Yeah. Egg. You put avocado chicken on it sometimes too. At least, I think I was talking about this in my other video. 
these with a waffle maker. That's breakfast ever. Absolutely delicious. I've never tried the protein ones, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Because it's just add water so there's no protein. We typically drink a shake or have some eggs with it. But we'll see. Roll Andy's ketchup. Ketchup is life. Can't live without it. I feel very feminine if I walk around like this. Does it look like a purse or what? Real men carry it down low. Are those chips that I really like here? These chips are fucking so good. They're veggie chips. But they're as crispy as like a real potato chip. They're delicious. Are you a jerky guy or what? I'm not a jerky guy. You haven't tried those? I haven't. Uh, aren't they gross? No, they're amazing. Right, this is the real reason I came here. <laughs> Chicken nuggets and ketchup are life. They are delicious. Courtney got like these, but the big ones. I don't know where she found them. This is why I can't come here without her. Do I want gluten free or not gluten free? I don't know. What does that even mean? I can lie to myself and pretend that gluten free means they're healthier when it absolutely means nothing. So, gluten free it is. I get my guilty pleasure sometimes. Throw these in the freezer, have a late night gummy, pull these out of the freezer. Best way to go to bed. Alright, so we survived the trip to the grocery store and didn't die. So, see how it goes. I know Courtney's gonna make fun of me for even going in there without her, but it is what it is. We made it through it. Got some chicken nuggets for a beautiful Easter dinner. What else would you want on Easter dinner other than some chicken nuggets? Throw a little ketchup on there, watch some Netflix, and live in the damn dream. Now the question is if they will even fit in the front. Okay. What a fit. <clears throat> Practical chunk ever, but it'll do for small grocery runs. See my spin bike? No, it doesn't look like I use it, but I actually did use it. Spin's hard, eh? Yeah. I wasn't even doing a class. I was just trying to keep my heart rate high. And without even really trying that hard, my heart rate was at like 145, 140 for like 20 minutes straight. My average heart rate at the end was 142. 20 minute bike ride. So it's pretty fucking bad. It's not that hard. What? It's not that hard. I don't think that's hard to do. I'm saying like the fact that my heart rate was that elevated just from biking, not that heavy, is difficult. I got through it fine, but I didn't think my heart rate would be that high. Do a 45 minute class. Fuck that. I'm just trying to be healthy, man. I'm not trying to be fucking skinny. Okay, what should I eat? Mega Fit or cereal? Both. I'd have a sandwich last week. Both? No, it's one or the other. Protein shake or Mega Fit. What? It's always cleaner here when Courtney's gone. <laughs> I know. But it's old. Still not that clean right now, but these are clean. These are dirty, actually, sorry, but. You haven't told me what I should eat yet. Are there cereal? I said both. Well, I only have one or the other, so. Well, cereal's quicker, but yeah, cereal. Post workout meal is gonna be some cereal. Fast digesting carbs, and the beauty of cereal is sometimes I'm hungry like an hour, so I'll eat again right after. But if I eat a big meal, I don't really feel like. Where's the rest of all your three wishes? There's boxes in the garage. Oh, that's sick. I'm gonna have some too. We have boxes of the cereal. Which one do you want? Uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon's the best. Yeah, I'll probably that one. This actually might be cinnamon in this bag. Actually, no, it's just honey crunch. But this is one of my go-to post workouts if i'm having like late night cereal three wishes because it has some protein in it but post workout and it's like different gi carbs this is just like pure fast digesting rice crisps so i have this i probably just put almond milk on it and not put my protein in because i like fresh light almond milk with my cereal and i'll drink a shake on the side lots of liquid but more hydrating after workout so who cares i'm also probably gonna have a slice of banana bread courtney made some all natural ingredients very healthy gluten-free banana bread right before she left. So I ate literally half of that last night. And I'm probably gonna have another bite after I have some cereal. So post-workout is delicious. This is a big box. Yeah, this is, uh, this one's like keto or something. It's all fiber and no sugar. I haven't tried this one yet. We're big fans of Three Wishes, if you can't tell. All right, so I only had 
a little bit left of this, my favorite protein, for the last little bit, for a while actually. So I only have one scoop left, so I have a scoop of chocolate in there, and I'm doing a scoop of this. A little bit. I have some glutamine in there, and also gonna be putting down some fiber, because fiber helps you poop. I have like two scoops, two and a half to three scoops of this, depending if I have beans or not in that day. Make sure I'm getting all my fiber in. Hashtag health. Use code Zebo. But yeah, that's the post workout shake. Do you want a bowl bigger than that? Yeah. Sure. It's kind of a sad amount. Sadly, that's all the rice crisps, rice crisps I have left. But that and some extremely Courtney King style milk. Unsweetened milk cashews. No no added anything. It's just filtered water and cashews. No gums, no bullshit. All gains. I typically do almond milk. Honestly, what I learned is that blanched almonds, which means the shell off or whatever, the skin off of it, is how they make almond milk, and that's actually anti-inflammatory. You know, I like my anti-inflammatory shit. Sometimes almonds can be inflammatory if you eat a lot of them, and it's only because of the skin on them. So, I've been drinking a lot of almond milk when I heard that, because who doesn't love almond milk? But Courtney likes mixing it up, so doing this. But, as you can see, we don't eat trash cereal in this house. Like I said, my full day of eating, it's not just about getting calories in, it's the type of calories you get. And honestly, you should be eating all whole foods and that's great, but I like to eat cereal sometimes and banana bread sometimes. So there's healthy alternative ways to do it. And I'm not gonna sh shit your pants. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what that even means. Once you don't have shit stuff for a long time, you don't want it anymore. It's not like, oh, if I'm gonna eat cereal, I'd rather just eat Lucky Charms. It's like, no, I actually would rather eat this cereal and three wishes because Lucky Charms now is like too sweet and too artificial and I don't even enjoy it anymore. This is like equally as enjoyable as anyone else would be eating real sugar treats, but it's actually better for me because there's no like refined processed sugars and all this other bullshit. So it's a lot better for me to do if I do it consistently and I don't even do that consistently. So treat your body like a temple, don't eat bullshit. That's all I gotta say. Delicious. What are you eating next? What am I eating next? I don't know. Chicken and rice. I'm gonna let that digest first. What's your opinion of Tiger Woods pulling out of the master due to a leg injury? <laughs> What's my opinion? I said good for him. Do what he needs to do. He's old. Don't feel like you have to do anything. But you tore your bicep and still competed. So? I'm just saying. Was he in the middle of the masters? He was at the final round of it. I don't even know what that means. Like the last hole? No, like they got one more. They do. They do one more round of like the, the all the holes. I think. Oh really? I feel like he's trained through like fucking broken feet before or something, haven't he? He has broken. I think he's like torn his ACL. His his fucked up his knee. His lower back's all fucked. Is golfing that hard on your knees? It's pretty hard. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Would you golf when you retire? Maybe. Probably not. All you guys are golfing though, so maybe I'm gonna have to start. It's fun. I mean, it's shitty for the first bit, but it's actually fun when you start to get. Like balls on the fairway and stuff. Yeah, I'm just really bad. I feel like I'd hurt myself too. I'd hurt my wrist. As I went to the driving range, I fucking fucked my wrist up. Prone to wrist injuries. So you decided not to cook all the ingredients and you just heated up a mega fit. I just cooked those, that steak. I just cooked it on the Traeger and cut it up in the cubes. You don't have a Traeger. Oh, yeah, I do. I just cooked that steak on it. Are you judging me? Yeah. Fresh cooked gourmet meal. I saw on um, what's it, Joe Rogan's uh, on YouTube. Joe Rogan was uh, making a tomahawk elk steak. It looked really good. Tomahawk elk steak. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. I want to get into hunting when I'm done bodybuilding. When I'm legally allowed to own a gun in America, catch my own animals, go hunting, cry a little bit because I don't actually want to hurt animals, but part of life, and then eat it. Oof. Kevin put Lean Beef Patty's YouTube video on the internet, on the TV, so we can watch myself and eat steak. The last thing I ever want to do with my life. Oh, real hot. All right, that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. If this is before May 12th, I already know it's not, but so May 25th, April 25th, Young LA Drop. Code Sebum, mega fit, Code Sebum, but for real. I was talking about eating healthy in the last few videos and we're gonna be doing a transformation challenge in May. We're gonna launch the registration in May and then we're gonna, I wanna do a sick giveaway this year. So comment below something you wanna see a giveaway. Maybe a chance to train with me, maybe a shit ton of money, 
I don't know, we'll figure something out. But I really want to encourage you guys to actually be healthy. We're going to put together like an ebook of like proper eating, healthy eating, and it's going to be a transformation challenge, not just like get jacked. So who can ever put themselves in the best shape? And we're going to do that. And we're going to roll that out with an update that's hopefully ready for my app. So we're doing like a full like update, weight logging, tracking, all that stuff. And then in like six months from now, we have a full nutrition system coming out. So we'll probably do another transformation challenge then. But that's coming soon. So stay tuned for that. I maybe do a, we'll do a full day of eating where I explain how to maybe build your macros a little properly before that. And then it'll be more so explained for those who enter the challenge but that's what's coming up not much else to be going on car shows this week might be going to tampa next week for summer shredding maybe but that's it so thank you guys for watching remember to subscribe like the video and what are you looking at i don't know we're just there a ghost yeah don't tell me that man i'm home alone tonight i'm already paranoid all right bye see you later, see you later guys